welcome to another video and today I am going to be showing you how to get money fast. So the first method is to do Return of Phantoms. I'm but I'm going to show you where every single chest is in the game. So when you first walk in, oh by the way my main look is not an arctic wolf. I repeat, not an arctic wolf. Not that I'm against arctic wolves or anything but yeah. So the first one is you want to come down here by the flower patch and then there'll be 50 gems right in this little chest but anyway the second one is when you come up here by this wheelbarrow and by buster you want to come down the river most of the chests are actually through the rivers and then this gives you 100 gems so that's pretty good and then you actually like when you trap every single phantom it gives you more gems it gives you 25 gems each for trapping a phantom so if you calculate that if you trap every single phantom which i already did when they get out of your way oh here's another one this one's like easy these two i'm pretty sure you already know and then follow the river and then this one the phantoms get out of your way and two you get money for it okay and then the third one and i'm pretty sure the last one that's over here before like you go through the gate is by cookie and you want to stand like right in front of cookie and go straight down and then it'll lead you into the secret area and this one gives you 200 gems now if you looked in the exact same place on the hard mode you will get double the gems so this one will give you 400 gems so that's automatically the automatically half of 1000 if you remember you can get this prize and then just recycle the item if you do not want it. And most of the time it gives you bad stuff anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you're not a member, either, like, find someone to do it with. Do it by yourself and then just not get this prize. So there's really one, only one chest over here. And that is through this area. There will be a phantom here. So you want to trap it in the little chopper plant that will be right there. But then you come down here and this one gives you, I'm pretty sure, 150. Yeah. Um, so then just go through the whole adventure, trapping all the phantoms, getting the 25 gems. And when you find the last key, this is important because it gets you extra gems. You put it in the last one. It doesn't matter the order because in this adventure, it's all the same. Then you want to click, not any up here, not this one, but this one. This one. You must click this one because when you click it, it gives you five hundred extra gems. second method is recycling things that you don't want like i recycled the um what's it called the horn pads that i got because it's not really that good but be careful you don't want to recycle something just to get you money like if you like your what what's good that i have if you like your bow and arrow don't recycle it <laughs> just to get money method number three is play overflow and best dressed and Falling Phantoms, I heard. Th this one, I heard, gives you a ton of gems. But this one's my opinion. Overflow, literally, I, I play it to, like, level 15. That gives you, like, 500 gems. But if you keep playing it to, like, level 30, you already get 1,000 gems. So that that's amazing. And I don't know how much Falling Phantoms gives. Just ask a party. I'm sure he'll tell you how much it gives because a party's addicted to it. Let's face it. But um, Best Dressed, also, if you win, you get, round, you get money every single round. So, like, it's amazing. Like, some... Another thing you guys might think is crazy is actually the claw gets you money. I were to play this for five gems. Notice it says five gems. You get up to three chances to get a plushie. Like, if I get a plushie at this first round, I'm going to freak out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, a pink lime plushie. I don't like pink. But anyway, so I spent five gems, right? Five gems gone from this. But if I go to recycle it, Come on, load. It recycles for... Uh, guys? That was 15 before. I did this before. Uh, is this line plushie? Is it? Wait, if I were to show you any other plushie... 15! What? What? The? Okay, so if I were to get this plushie, it'd be 15. But, guys, apparently if you get a pink line plushie, it sells for 90. So I guess I'm not recycling that, because... <laughs> It sells for 90 and everything else sells for 15. That is crazy. I don't, ah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, guys, I hope these methods help you. So tell me what you were at in the comments and after doing these methods, what you are at now. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in Jama. Bubs out. about this there's a lot of unreleased items and I'm about to show you to that so one first of all this blue cushion isn't there and I already said that but I did not know that this was a shop I like just figured that out and like you can get all this stuff I I guys I am so clueless I am so stupid <laughs> is this flooring doesn't exist if you put every single flooring in the game this one won't exist. And three, these blue mats don't exist. Not these. These are beta mats. But these. If I went through every single colored mat, which I will do that right now, they do not exist. I pro do not exist. So it starts off with purple. And it they do not exist. Guys, it's it's crazy. That flooring doesn't exist. And it the blue mat doesn't exist. I open my buddy list a lot. Do you guys notice that? All my videos, I just click on my buddy list. Um, but I, I just, I don't, so, I didn't know that that, one, I didn't know the shop was there, and two, they don't exist. Like, here, this one does exist, this blue mat does, but the other one, this one, ah, shoot.